welcome back. Today we are going to be taking the same personality tests that we took six months ago. Uh, the reason why we're redoing them is because I think I think my personality has changed a little bit, but not like a bunch. But I guess we'll see. Plus, a lot of you are new and probably didn't see this video, so redoing it will give you guys a chance to sort of know my personality outside of uh, video games. First test was Sex Central, so we're just going to open that test up. Ta-da! Alright, I feel most energetic and focused. This remains the same in the morning, but only when I'm up in the morning. I'm usually up by like 8 or 9, but then I don't actually get out of bed or do anything um, until like 11 or 12. But if I am up in the mornings, that is when I focus the most and when I get the most done. I could probably get like 5 hours worth of work done in like an hour in the mornings. When I walk, I tend to... Fairly fast with small steps? I don't know. <laughs> I don't pay attention when I'm walking. When you enter a party or social gathering, you tend to make a loud entrance, make a quiet entrance looking around for someone you know, make a quiet entrance trying to stay unnoticed. That. If you're focused on a task and you're interrupted, you're likely to... Off from the break. Vary between the two extremes. Depends what I'm doing. If I want to get out of it, I'll be like, okay, yep, break time. If not, I'll be like, okay, can you like not interrupt me i'm trying to do something my favorite color is still purple or dark blue when you dream you're often i don't dream yeah i don't remember the last time i've had a dream this is the same score i don't know if it's exactly the same we're gonna look the loyal friend that's nice i got a 38 that was very we got a 39 this time <laughs> okay well we'll just read it again others see you as sensible cautious careful and practical they see you as clever, gifted, or talented, but modest. Not a person who makes friends too quickly or too easily, but someone who's extremely loyal to friends you do make and who expects the same loyalty in return. Those who really get to know you realize it takes a lot to shake your trust in your friendship, but equally that it takes you a long time to get over it if that trust is broken. Okay, let's read the other ones. The Shy Warrior, Careful Plotter. The lively center of attention, that one would not have worked. Uh, oh, right. Both times I almost got the lively center of attention. I knew that would not work for me. Uh, the natural leader, the vain, self-centered leader. Okay. I'm <laughs> Yeah, I'm good with my results on this one. All right, let's see what the next one was. We're doing BuzzFeed quizzes soon, so we're going to take the uh, BuzzFeed. This is an accurate personality test. Take it. <laughs> We are doing BuzzFeed quizzes soon. Uh, I said this six months ago and did not do the Buzz BuzzFeed quizzes. I had intentions to, I just didn't get around to it. Okay, well, let's take this super accurate personality test from BuzzFeed.com. All right, same, same test, same person. I made sure because I couldn't find it, but I eventually did. You can take all these items with you to help you survive on a desert island. But one, which do you leave behind? I feel like a sun hat is, like, the most, it's the only thing that's not really useful. Use a leaf. I don't, I don't know. How do you confront conflict? Do you approach it with enthusiasm? No. You react the way you feel others would best take it in order to try to get your point across. Probably. I feel like that's what I do. Which kind of person would you enjoy having by your side? Someone who's brave, loyal, funny, respectful, ambitious, honest. Loyal? Which way best describes how you tackle a heavy to-do list? Yeah, I would just stay up late, get up early. That's what I did, like, last night. I was recording a video last night, and I stayed up until, like, 2 a.m. But I'm- okay, I usually stay up around 2 a.m., but I meant to go to bed early, but I was in the middle of a video, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna finish this. You're on the phone with a mean customer service representative who won't honor a coupon you're eligible for. What do you do? Well, to be clear, I wouldn't be on the phone with the customer service representative over this. Um, I would just give up. I th Yeah, I would just give up. <laughs> Maybe it was... Yeah, no, I would just give up. If you had a house in each of these locations, which would you sell first? House in tribal rainforest, beachside, mountaintop, snowy plain, desert, desert. <laughs> I don't like the heat. I would prefer to be frozen than overheat. Finally... Which sounds most appealing on a rainy day? Playing in puddles, drinking hot tea, reading a book, taking a nap, snuggling with something soft. I like walking in the rain. 
Like, if it's raining and it's supposed to stop in, like, ten minutes, I'll, like, go walk my dog for ten minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna go play in the puddles, even though I mean, I don't mean that. Oh, this is the same one I got last time. I know it is. We're gonna go check for sure, but it, but it is. The nearly clairvoyant. Well, <laughs> maybe I haven't changed as much. You're almost telepathic. You have the talent of tuning in to other people's thoughts and emotions, which means that you make a lot of friends. You use your natural powers to create meaningful connections with those around you. People tend to trust you easily because you understand them well. I feel like people tend to trust me easily, but I can't really be the one to say that. I feel like it would have to be them saying that. <laughs> I would say like semi-accurate, maybe like 50% accurate. So problem with this next one, I couldn't find the test. I looked, I don't know where to find it. I tried, I really did. <laughs> But it just says, like, personality tests. So I typed in, like, personality tests, big five personality traits, and could not find it. So instead, we're just going to take a different one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. And then we'll just compare the results as if they're the same. <laughs> More choices than the last one, anyway. Have a small group of close friends with similar interest. I would say I agree. Yeah, because we all share. It's 127 questions. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. We're gonna speed run this though, and uh, you guys are gonna get like five of these questions in here. Okay, I'm a forgiving person. Not at all. I like debating people. I don't. Um, yeah, no, I avoid conflict. I'm pessimistic a lot of the time. I agree. Me and my friend have this discussion a lot whether I'm optimistic or pessimistic, but I think I'm pessimistic. Others have said that I am too sure of myself. <laughs> They haven't said it, but they've said that I'm very ambitious about my future. <laughs> I'm more focused on my goals than relationships. Oh, they're, mm, I don't want to say agree, <laughs> so I'm doing neither. Others have sometimes found me arrogant. <laughs> yeah. I'm passionate and romantic person. <laughs> this is funny if you know me. Um, I strongly disagree. I care more about my relationship than achieving personal goals. No. I'm often setting new goals for myself. Yeah. I get very focused on small details. <laughs> Great, because the I'm is killing me. I'm still trying to figure out who I am. I think everybody is. <laughs> You're telling me I just took that 127 question quiz. And I can't even get the results. This is why we take other tests. This is why we have backups. We're taking this one because we've taken it before. We didn't take it in the quiz, but we've taken it before. So, you know what? You prefer to completely finish one project before starting another. I never finish projects. If you don't know, there's two guitars in my background. You, can, you can't even see one. But that's the other one in that corner. I don't know any guitar. I also have a keyboard. <laughs> take it, guess if I know it or not. Do you feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking a conversation? I would, I would never do that. I don't think there's a world in which I would do that. You enjoy participating in group activities. It depends what group activities. Like SMPs, obviously. Love those. But it depends who I'm working with and what I'm doing. You like books and movies that make you come with your own interpretation of the ending. Strongly disagree. The ending of a book or movie will ruin it for me. So... <laughs> I need to know how it ends. I don't I don't want to guess. You think the world would be a better place if more people read it, relied on rationality and less on their feelings? No. Like, yes, look at the rationality of things, but, like, don't only follow your head. Some things need a heart. You lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you. Disagree strongly. I get to tell this story again for those of you who don't know. I, I love bringing it up. In high school, I was a tutor. Losing patience would not have worked well in that scenario. You often end up doing things at the last possible moment. So agree. I don't, I rarely ever edit before Friday. We have videos out every Saturday, guaranteed every Saturday. I barely ever edit before Friday night. After a long and exhausting week, a lovely social event is just what you need. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> you feel confident that things will work out for you? Yes. <laughs> I'm constantly saying, yeah, there's no chance I'm not going to be a content creator in the future. Hmm. Mediator. 
I've never got this one. I've taken this test, like, I took it in school, I took it, like, I took it multiple times in school, but I've taken it since. I don't think I ever got mediator. Mediators are poetic, kind, and altruistic people. Always eager to help a good cause. Okay. 71% introverted. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Introverted individuals tend to prefer fewer, yet deep and meaningful social interactions, and are often drawn to calmer environments. Okay. I can see that. 50% intuitive, 46% observant, half and half, okay. Intuitive people are very imaginative, open-minded, and curious. They value originality and focus on hidden meanings and distant possibilities. Okay, I'll take it. Filling, oh, filling and thinking is about 50-50. Uh, filling individuals value emotional expression and sensitivity. They place a lot of importance on empathy, social harmony, and cooperation. I definitely think, yeah, okay. It's also 50-50, so I'm fine with that. 72% <laughs> prospecting, 28% judging. Prospecting individuals are very good at, at improvising and adapting to opportunities. They tend to be more flexible, non-conformist, who value novelty above stability. Turbulent or assertive. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not assertive. Turbulent individuals are self-conscious and sensitive to stress. They feel a sense of urgency in their emotions and tend to be success-driven perfectionist and eager to improve okay uh are we gonna read this okay the gift of empathy sincere curiosity about the depths of human nature have a talent for self-expression they may reveal their innermost thoughts and secrets through metaphors and fictional characters hmm. in search of a calling directionless or stuck oh i know what i want to do strength and weaknesses Empathetic, generous, open-minded, creative, passionate, idealistic. Weaknesses. Unrealistic. <laughs> yeah, okay, that one. I'll take that one. Self-isolating, unfocused, emotionally vulnerable. Unless meters establish boundaries, they're at risk of absorbing other people's... Ooh, establishing boundaries. Okay. Desperate to please. Ooh, self-critical. Yikes. All romantic relationships. So mediators are dreamers and idealists, especially when it comes to romance. People with this personality type believe in the power and beauty of true love, and then sincerely hope <laughs> never to settle for anything less. Okay. <laughs> it's fair to say then that the mediators approach the world of romance with high expectations, but the reality of dating comes as something of a shock to mediators, forcing them to grapple with the challenging questions. If they want to be in a relationship, will they have to compromise on their ideals? Mediators reveal just how passion thrums beneath their quiet exteriors. Devoted and loyal, they nevertheless respect their partner's independence, aiming to accept their partners as they are. Yikes. Okay, friendships. <laughs> Moving on. For these personalities, friendship is, is a precious commodity. An opportunity for two people to lift each other up and change each other's lives for the better. Few things bolster their sense of purpose, like being there for someone they care about. <laughs> small intimate circle of friends acquaintances may come and go but this inner circle is likely to include mediators friends for life okay career paths many mediators long for a career that doesn't just take care of the bills but also feels fulfilling they want to spend their days doing something they genuinely love preferably without too much stress or drama oh well, you guys know my ideal career <laughs> here we are conclusion finally Few personality types are as poetic and kind-hearted as mediators. With their unique gifts, mediators can overcome all sorts of challenges and obstacles and brighten the lives of those around them in the process. It's basically saying I'm a good person. That's back. So, I, I think what we're going to do is we're going to rank them on which ones are the best and the worst. This one is about 50% accurate. I would say like half of this is right. Ish. So, so this was probably the worst one even though i did i did like taking this one a bit more this one 60 percent. i'll give it a 60 percent accuracy uh like some of the stuff was definitely true but then like the rest was mm. now this one i think out of all of them this one was probably the most accurate i don't know a percentage <laughs> i just gave the other percentage because i felt like it i just think this one was the most accurate Others see you as sensible, cautious, careful, and practical. Uh, clever, gifted, or talented, but modest. Uh, doesn't make friends too quickly, but when I do, 
I'm loyal to them and they're lo I expect loyalty in exchange. It takes a lot to shake your trust, but it takes a long time to get over that if it's broken. That said, I think we're done. I'm gonna take this test again probably next year sometime. So uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. But that's all I have for you now. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.